and welcome to this lesson on reciprocal functions. So we're going to plot a reciprocal function and we're going to begin with y is equal to 4 over x. Neither your values of x and as the value of x changes so will the value of y. So we begin with x equals 0.5. So y is equal to 4 divided by 0.5 and that is 8. And the coordinate pair is made up of an x and a y value. And we now know that x is 0 0.5 when y is 8. So we can plot this point. And the next one, y is equal to 4 over 1. y is equal to 4. And this coordinate goes at 1 across and 4 up. Then we have y is equal to 4 over 2. So y is equal to 2 when x equals 2. And this point goes here. y is equal to 4 divided by 4. So y is equal to 1 when x is equal to 4. Then we have y is equal to 4 over 8. So y is equal to 0 0.5 when x is equal to 8. And then we have y is equal to 4 divided by 10, which is 0 0.4. And that will go approximately there. So now we're going to join these points together to make a smooth curve. So by looking at the graph, you can see that the curve will never actually touch the y-axis here. If we think about y-axis, we have y is equal to 4 over x. And as x approaches 0, we have y is equal to 4 over 0, or approaches 0. And anything divided by 0 is infinite, so it's impossible to draw a graph which goes up to infinity. So this is one of the properties of a reciprocal function. Okay, let's try the next one. Okay, do you want to try and plot this graph for yourself by pausing the video? And you can resume it when you're ready. So we have the reciprocal function y is equal to 2 over x. And to begin with, value of x is negative 4. So y is equal to 2 divided by negative 4, which is negative 0 0.5. And that would go approximately here. And the next one, y is equal to 2 divided by the new x, which is negative 2. And that is negative 1. So that would go here. Then we have y is equal to 2 divided by negative 1, which is negative 2. So that will go here. So we can plot that at the coordinate negative 1 and negative 2. Then we have y is equal to 2 divided by negative 0 0.5. So y is equal to negative 4. So we can plot that here. And now we can move to the positive quadrant where y is equal to 2 divided by positive 0 0.5. So y is equal to 4. So when x equals 0 0.5, y is equal to 4. y is equal to 2 divided by 1. So y is equal to 2. y is equal to 2 divided by 2. So y is equal to 1. And finally, y is equal to 2 divided by 4, which is 0 0.5. So now we're going to have two reciprocal curves, one in the positive first quadrant and one in the negative third quadrant. So you can see at this point, the value of 
x will approach infinity the same here when it approaches negative infinity at these two points we approach positive and negative infinity with y this means the curve will get infinitely close to the axes but never actually touch them okay thank you very much for watching i hope you found that useful thanks again and take care